So I'm going to pick this catchment nice and easy. It's on my other screen. First thing we typically have to do is set up rainfall. So I created a rainfall event for my local jurisdiction. So I'm going to start with this rainfall manager just to show you what's going on there. Now, when you create um, a known rainfall um, collection, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, we'll call it uh, Chicago. <laughs> Assuming I can spell. Uh, and you can see as you put these in here, these become collections. Uh, and then for that collection, I'll add an event. So if this were the 100 year, right, you would name it that way. Now you have uh, two choices. You can manually add data points to this graph right here using these buttons, or you can import a CSV file of the same stuff. What are we talking about here? Time versus depth. So for those that are unfamiliar, um, of course, NOAA Atlas for, uh, 14 is a good little resource for that. So here, let me just pop that up real quick. So again, you know, wherever you are in the world, right, come here, and here's your table. And really what we're saying is from five minutes down to 24 hours, you would take all these values to populate this table. That's that's really all it is. Nothing super difficult there. Uh, I did create CSV file, files just because that way at least I can recreate it if I need to, I suppose. Uh, but nothing super magical about a CSV file. Um, so if I here we'll just import it for the sake of importing it, which when we go to docs is where I have it saved. And there's my CSV. Let me just open it real quick. And there it is. Those are the those are just the ordinates that are in that CSV file. So time over depth, right, all the way up to 24 hours. And then you would click Add. Uh, so you get a list of these, and you can turn you can decide whether or not to use those individual storms in that collection when we go to the analysis. So, you know, maybe you're doing the analysis just for your hydrology study, or maybe you're just doing your analysis just for your pipe study. Um, so in my case, um, uh, I'll just go ahead and hit create rainfall. So now that's established. So if I go to my particular rainfall that I've got set up, I've got two storms. And if we take a look at them, same data, right? There we go. So that's all checked. So now I can start to use that for uh, my analysis. So the front page here shows those different known rainfalls. And of course, this would all depend on where you were and which jurisdiction for the project. So you toggle the right project location. So that's going to use my Lehigh County rainfall. And remember what I gave it for an input was I just picked this one catchment. Notice it highlighted everything, right? It's going to do the whole system. So here I do the fun thing of watching paint dry by clicking a button and watch it push up to the cloud. All right, there we go. So what do we have in our results? So currently I'm looking at the 100-year event for the system. So the total inflow across all the catchments, et cetera, you guys can read. Let me stretch this out a little bit. Uh, I do not have a 4K monitor, but clearly these dialogues were built on a 4K monitor. Lots of uh, columns here. And as I go down, right, I can go to catchments. So I can individually see what's happening. Uh, what's nice is uh, on the end of each row, um, I can zoom to it, and then I can see the properties of that thing. So some nice little handy tools there in the results. 
Uh, same thing for pipes. So I've got some pretty large pipes there. I'm actually going to shrink this down just to see what happens. Um, and if I go to structures, I, I didn't mean for this to all work right out of the gate. <laughs> I totally guessed on those pipe sizes. Uh, so um, what would happen here normally is, let me slide this over. Um, you can take those results and then apply them to your model. It, what would that do? So for instance, with my pipe style, if I go to profile, maybe we'd want to see these properties. Right, so there's nothing there yet. And let's give them oops, some sort of color. Just to pre-bake this a little bit, I guess. Uh, peach, I don't know. We're just making stuff up here, right? And maybe I'll just change the scale there. So we'll see what happens once we bring all that in. So nothing's there yet. How do I know if I go into the pipe properties? It hasn't filled in the hydraulic properties just yet. Oh, I should have hit apply before I did that. <laughs> uh, just by changing the pipe style, it rendered things out of date. So we'll let that go. So what happened? Um, it updated the values. Uh, and of course, now that's that data is displayed in our pipe. Nothing super fancy there. Uh, did I scroll past it? There we go. So it's filled in that information. Um, it didn't fill in the flow rate or the return period. They just haven't connected that. Again, I mentioned this was a tech preview, correct? So there's some details still missing, but the parts that do work, they do work well.